Thank you to distinguished board members for allowing me this opportunity to speak at this venue. My name is Bill Carbonell. I'm president of the Western Car Wash Association, as we like to refer to the WCA. We represent 1,000 members in 12 Western states with over 500 members in California alone. The WCA has been a leader in membership education pertaining to local, federal, and state labor laws. The WCA hosted several joint workshops with the California Division of Labor Standards and Enforcement. Our continuing educational program included Labor Commissioner Angela Bradstreet speaking at one of our recent conventions. The WCA continually works closely with the Labor Commissioner's Office to increase and continu continually emphasize to its members the need to be good citizens. The Western Car Wash Association attempted to work with the creators of the Car Wash and Polishing Registration Act to ensure a fair, easy, easily enforceable legislation. The WCA actively encouraged significantly greater penalties than what was proposed by the proponents and continues to do so. The Western Car Wash Association believes that a fine of $1,000 per day with no cap would be more of an effective deterrent. We also feel that all the money collected should be retained by the fund and the damaged employee should have easier access to the restitution. While not an enforcement agency, we try to hold our members to the highest standard of professionalism and integrity. This is mirrored in the fact that while hundreds of car washes businesses have been fined over the years for workforce violations, only a very small fraction were members and seldom for non-registration. In this light, we respectfully ask the board to refrain from painting a broad stroke of criticism over the entire industry. The Western Car Wash Association deplores any exploitation of employees, unsafe working conditions, and any non-compliance with federal, state, or local laws. These unlawful practices not only violate worker rights, but they also create an unfair playing field for legitimate operators. Having said that, the car wash industry, like many other industries, are experiencing tremendous economic stress. Sales are down between 20 and 40 percent throughout the state. Many washes are going out of business or are being foreclosed upon. The full service car wash is one of the few businesses that see upwards of 50 percent labor costs. The economic realities coupled with labor issues have driven many operators from the tra traditional full service intensive business model to what we refer in the industry as an exterior wash model that requires substantially less employees or any employees at all. This trend will continue as long as there are economic pressures on the industry with the unfortunate consequences of displacing thousands of car wash workers. The economic reality is that most car wash operators are struggling. Some may choose to break the law to survive, others to line their own pockets by taking advantage of their employees. The Western Car Wash Association feels strongly that those rogue operators should be severely punished by the fullest extent of the law. However, as an association, we feel strongly that it is extremely important to make a distinction between an unlawful operator and the vast majority of those who abide by the law and to make no recommendations or findings that would financially impact an already struggling industry. Thank you for your time, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.